So if we're good on hygiene in our calving pens and our lambing area and our creep areas, using plenty of this stuff and using the disinfectants we talked about last week, and if we're good at cluster management with these ladies and our yos, and we get that colostrum into our lamb or calf. So we'll actually get some protection via the colostrum, okay? In calves, we can't really rely on that. It's very short-lived and the immunity is not very strong. So we really need to be big on hygiene in calves, okay? If we're getting coccidiosis in calves from maybe three, four weeks of age on, it means you pick the disease up straight away at birth. In lambs, it's a bit different. We'll actually get some decent coverage from a colostrum so the lamb can be immune to the disease until about three, four weeks of age, and after that we enter the risk period, okay? So we could expect to see clinical symptoms in lambs for maybe six weeks on. So once your lamb or calf's dam-derived or colostrum-derived immunity wanes, they need to develop their own immunity. And that gap between the two immunities, that's our danger zone for coccidiosis, okay? And it's sort of inevitable that we'll pick up coccidiosis during that time, because they're everywhere. They're all over the farm, in the sheds, on the field, okay? So what we can do is, we can use an anticoccidial during that danger zone, like diclazoril, like toltazuril, the active in Shannox, okay? So consult your vet for advice on which one. What that compound will do is stop the development of any coxi that are in the system when the animal is treated, okay? So it's important that we let the animal pick some coxi up first. We know it'll take around three weeks to develop, okay? So, when do we go in? We go in around 10 to 14 days after the animal has entered a high-risk environment. And to be honest, a high-risk environment could be anywhere on a farm. Coxi are everywhere. So alternatively, we're going in around one week in advance of when we expect coccidiosis based on the disease's history on our own farm.